Hello gang, thanks for dropping in to In The Classroom series. Today we're going to be showing the 64 across. Um, this is from a low roller up to about a medium roller. You need about a four five hundred dollar bankroll to play this and hopefully you're going to like it. Uh, don't forget to study it because in a few days I'm going to be rolling it in a video and then you can follow along and hopefully we'll have some fun doing it okay so anyway um, since I'm here and it's a new year's coming up I want to wish you a happy new year's to you and all your family okay also um, I want to give a shout out to some people uh, first of all I want to give a shout out to Rick let it roll if you're not subscribed to his channel please do he's a very very good friend of mine I consider him my brother and he has some very good videos that he's put out so go check him out at let it roll also another good friend of mine Brian from Hawaii crap shooters go check out his channel if you haven't already there's only two of us in Hawaii and that's craps Hawaii which is me and Hawaii crap shooters which is Brian in the, on the island of Oahu, We're on two different islands, but we try to work together. Okay, so anyway, I want to give them shout outs. Also, this is my new shirt that I had, so if any of you want to order shirts, you can email me at makerofdreams at aol.com, and that's with an OV, not an OF, in Maker of Dreams. Um, the front is now in color, and the back looks like this. This was my original, and now we've put some color into it. So if you want shirts, and these are all dry fit, um, email me, like I said. Okay, so for now, let's get started. Let's go to the table and teach you some pressing and depressing. Okay, we'll catch you shortly. Okay, we're at the table. As you can see, I got 64 across. This is the breakdown, 10, 10, 12, 12. Okay, four and 10 will pay you $18, cause they pay nine to five. Five and nine will pay you $14 each, cause they pay seven to five, and you got $10. Six and eight pays seven to six. You got $12, so that's two units that pays you $14 each. Okay, so that's the, how it gets paid. So basically, this is a low to kind of medium type of strategy for a low or medium better. Um, I would suggest you have at least four to five hundred dollars as a bankroll just so that you don't get caught on a quick seven out and lose $64, okay? So anyway, let's get started and show you some of the presses that I would use. I'm sure there's a lot more different types of presses you could use, but for me, basically, these are what I'd like to do. So, okay, a lot of times, you know, the six and eight will come off and then a five and nine, five and nine will come off and then four or 10. Not necessarily in a short period of time, but Throughout the, the session, you're going to see that happening probably more often than not. So for me, if I press up, I'd like to get the 6 and 8 up as soon as possible. Because, like I said, more often than not, these numbers should hit more often than as you go to the outside numbers. So let's say, let's say a 5 hits. Okay, for five hits, it'll pay you, like I said, $14. Okay, so we're going to press, because of increments of six, we're going to press each one up by $6. Okay, so that would give us $18. And like I said, my reasoning for doing this is because most likely six and eights will come more often than five nines, four and tens as you're working your way out, okay? So now we pocket $2. 
Now let's say, uh, let's say uh, six hits. Because we got eighteen dollars, we get paid twenty one. Okay, we get paid twenty one. And what I like to do because we're gonna get paid twenty one dollars is to give a dollar. Cause I wanna press this up faster. Okay, of course you could press just a five, just a nine, or five and nine, or just a six or eight. But I wanna give us more chances of hitting more numbers. Okay, and that's the reason. The four and ten, I could bring it down right now and go to 25 because we got 15, right? So I got 25. So right now, if any of these numbers hit, we'll, we'll get paid right here. $25 would pay us 35. 24 right here would pay us 28. Okay, so we, we, we're getting more money faster. And that's the reason for trying, you know, I gave up the 4 and 10. Just like my 130, I would give up the 4 and 10 to make these higher. Okay. Like I said, because these numbers come more often than these. Okay, so that's why we want to get that up right away. Okay, so the first hit, we press the 6 and 8. The next hit, we press them all. Okay. So now, let's say uh, eight hits. So we get paid $28. $25, I'm going to make change with this, okay? Get some five ones. Again, you could press all the way across and take back some money. But I got right here, I got $24, right? So if I do press across like this, I'm going to have $30 now, right? So we can do that. So 24 plus 6 makes 30. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. And we're going to turn those into $30 each. We still got 10, 15, $17 in profit plus the press up. So over here, we got 25 each, so I'm just going to color them up. And I can now make these 30. We still got some money here, but I just got to hang on to these, make the payments a little easier, okay? So right now, the five and nine, because we got $30 each. Normally you would see people betting 25s, 10s, 15s, 20s, right? 30 is a little odd for a five or a nine. But the payoff is seven to five. So if you had only $25, you would get paid 35. But because we got 30, we're gonna get paid 35 plus seven, total of $42. Over here, we're going to get paid 35 each. Okay? But we already pressed it three times. A lot of times I talk about the short game because you want to get back your money as soon as you possibly can. But because it's smaller money, it's hard to depress it and get your money back right away. So in this case, 
there's some options that you can do. We can take a hit and start to depress. We could do that. So let's say a five hits again. We can get $42, right? So we can take 10, 20, 30, 40, two dollars or uh, that's all right we'll just leave it at forty two dollars ten twenty thirty forty two dollars so at this point we can start to pull this down we can pull this down we can go to twenty we could go to twenty and we can take back sixty and we have our money back already, right? Because that's 60, 65, $69. So right here is where we started, 64 across. We got $5 here. We got 100 out here, right? 30, 30, that's 60, 20, and 20. That's 40, 60 and 40 is 100. So in four hits, if we did this, we'd have our $64 back, which is what we started, and we have $115, $105 profit. Okay, so that's the move that you can make. So let's say we do do this and we pull this down. So we got our start money back, $64. And let's say we decide to stay in the game a little longer. So let's say the six hits now. Six will pay us $35, correct? So that's 10, 20, 30. And just like I showed you and I start depressing from the 130, this is exactly what I do, and then you give a dollar, and you take back sixty dollars more. So we won thirty-five from the thirty dollars we gave. That gives us thirty-five. You give a dollar, it's thirty-six. You got eighteen, eighteen. That's thirty-six dollars, and we can take back another sixty dollars. Okay, so right now, as far as profit, we have locked up another $64, right? 50, 64. And this is our start money right here, $64. So this is total profit plus the $76 we have down here. So your profit will be 64 plus 76. Okay, so those are the profits that we have. If we wanted to, you could pull all this down, put back the 64 or whatever you want to do. When I get to this stage, a lot of times I want to get a little bit more money back and I want to be able to, to take on every hit some money. So that's why I jump into the easy and it all depends on the table minimum, okay? So in this case, let's say the table minimum is $10. So I'm going to take back the $20 from the 9 because I don't need it there, right? Because now I'm going to play the easy. So I'm going to put $10 in the field. This $10, I'm going to take it back. You know, some of you might say, well, that's protecting the field. In case the 5 hits, I'll lose the field. And I have nothing here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the money from here and I'm going to hop the five. So hopping fives pays 15 to one. Whether it comes three, two, or four, one, I'll get paid 15, lose the 10 in the field, plus the one that didn't hit, so I'd lose 11, but I collect 15, I would collect $4 profit, okay? So right now, this is our profit, 60. 
75 $85, $90, $92 profit. Our stock money is back. This is all profit also. So what we have out here is 18, 18, 36, 10 in a field at 46, 47, 48 dollars in play. Okay, but that money in play is also part of this profit. Okay, remember that. 75, 85, 92 dollars plus the 48 dollars. Okay, so it's about 130 something dollars profit. So if you like this strategy, please, please uh, study it. Practice the pressing, practice the depressing. There's all, like I told you, you could pull down the four and 10, put it on the five and nine, you could get there faster. You could also go back over here and instead of playing the easy, you could go and put $10 here, $10 here, and continue playing the box numbers. Those are all things that you can do. Those are all options, yeah? So. It all depends what the what the table is doing. If the table, like I said, I got my money back. Table started throwing horn numbers and fours and tens. If I didn't have it covered, then I would jump into an easy. Because at this point, it's the icing on the cake. Like I always said, icing on the cake. The extra money, all your money is made. You got your start money back. And it's time for you to try and make more money. Okay? So anyway... That's it for in the classroom at the table. Okay, so hopefully you've learned something from the pressing and depressing and uh, the 64 across layout. Don't forget there's all types of options that can be played. I just showed you a few and how basically I would play them, but it's all up to you. So you have time to practice now before you get to Play along with me in my video when I start to play it, shooting the dice, and play with that 64 across. So hopefully we'll have some fun in the next video a few days from now while you play along with me. Okay, so and anyway, until we meet again, I know it's the New Year's, please stay safe and make sure when you go to the tables that you play to stay alive.